Hey y'all, with the holidays approaching, y'all are gonna want to make a lot of our traditional dishes. And one of the main side dishes, is main side dishes because I feel like it is a very important side dish, is potato salad. Now my version of potato salad actually came from my father-in-law. He makes some of the best potato salad that I've ever had in my life. Before I had his, I did not like potato salad. His version was so good that I had to veganize it. The flavors, they just come together perfectly because of the way we prepare it. With that being said, there is no excuse for you to make sucky potato salad after watching this video. Raisins do not belong in potato salad. Apples don't belong in potato salad. Nuts or cranberries do not belong in potato salad. So let me tell you what you're going to need. Potatoes, relish, sweet yellow onion, vegan butter, vegan mayo, celery, your spices, mustard, and vegan chicken bouillon. First, you're gonna start with some potatoes. Potatoes grow in the dirt. Spray them with apple cider vinegar and scrub them, or you're gonna be eating a bunch of dirt. You know what, this is why I don't eat other people's potato salad. So after you scrub your potatoes really, really well, you're gonna sit them to the side and then get your veggies prepped. Now this is the key to get the perfect potato salad. You have to mince your veggies. So you have to mince your onions and your celery really small, like as small as you can get them. And that's how you get that flavor in every single bite. Don't nobody wanna be biting into big chunks of onions and celery. So after you cut up your veggies really small, set them to the side. Now I like to keep the skin on my potatoes, but you can peel them, that's totally up to you. But that's one of the main reasons why I scrub my potatoes so well, is because I want to keep the skin on them. You can dice your potatoes to the size that you want. And after you get them diced up, sit them in some ice cold water. Crack in a few cracks of pink Himalayan sea salt. Now what this does, it helps clean them a little bit more and gets the extra starch off of them. So most people don't realize is that if you don't put a little bit of salt in the water, your potatoes, when you boil them, they come out kind of sticky, like literally sticky and not creamy. You want creamy potatoes. Now, after you let the potatoes sit for a little while, you're gonna drain them and make sure that they're clean and rinse all the way through. And then you're gonna add them to a pot of water on the stove. Add the vegan chicken bouillon at this time because you still have to season your water. Everything needs to flavor. You have to flavor everything up. After your potatoes get pork tender, you wanna drain the water out and then put your potatoes back into the same pot because it's still hot. Then you mash your potatoes. Okay, so here's my potato masher. I have one. I don't like this thing. I do not use it. This is what I use. This is what I used to mash my potatoes with, y'all. And it works so good. I can get in the corners. I can control it. You could mix all that stuff. But this, no. It, I have to like, you can use a potato masher. That's totally up to you. You can use a hand mixer if you want. But this right here, this get the job done for your girl. And I will forever use this. So after you get your potatoes all mashed up to your liking, some people like them chunky, some people want them creamy, I like them in between. That's when you start adding in all of your ingredients. Add in your vegan butter, spices, you're gonna mix it up really, really well. Add in your vegan mayo, add in your mustard, relish. And then this is another crucial point. I was being lazy this day when I made this. For my veggies, when it comes to the onions and the celery, you can lightly saute them, not cook them. You don't want them to be brown. You lightly saute them in a tiny bit of water or vegan butter, just until the onions are a little translucent. But if you don't want to, you definitely don't have to. I didn't do it this day. The whole point in sauteing them is to help take away some of the strong onion taste. Add in your cracked black pepper if you choose to, more pink Himalayan sea salt if you want. This is a sure fire way to get people wanting your potato salad at the functions. All the functions, not just for holidays. The easiest, most delicious potato salad. 
Super quick, super easy, and straight to the point. Even your kids gonna eat this potato salad, trust me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. But I'll talk to y'all later, bye. I feel like using the spaghetti spoon is the major key. Try it and tell me what you think.